When it comes to TikTok marketing, Add to Cart is a very important event which tells your ad manager that which of your products have been added to the cart and the ad optimization can be managed through that event. In this video, we are going to see how you can configure this Add to Cart event using Google Tag Manager for Shopify and TikTok Pixel. This video has been divided into four different sections. In the first section, we are going to configure Google Tag Manager on your Shopify store. In the next section of the video, we will configure the configuration tag so we can track all the basic events such as page view in the third section of the video we will see how you can configure the add to cart tracking scripts and in the final section of the video we will configure a tag that will track that custom add to cart event and send that data back to the tiktok pixel and finally we will publish everything and make sure all the tracking is working fine if you have already configured google tag manager and tiktok configuration tag on your pixel you can head over to the third section of the video the timestamps are mentioned in the video description so in the first section of this video, we are going to configure Google Tag Manager container on our Shopify store. To do that, we need to go over to Google Tag Manager container and click on the admin section. Admin section is where you have all the settings of your container as well as of your Google Tag Manager account. Under the container column, we will see an option for install Google Tag Manager container. There we are going to see two different kinds of snippets. The first one is for head tracking code and then the other one is body tracking code. We need both of these on our Shopify store in order to properly track all the events such as page view and add to cart event. So let's just start with the head snippet and copy that and go back to the Shopify store. On the Shopify store under the online theme option, you will find an option for themes where we can select the action button with the three dots and click on the edit code. This will take you to the back end of the website where you can update the theme files on your Shopify store. On the left side, you might see a file called theme.liquid. We are going to identify two different opening tags. The first one is this head section and the next one is going to be the body section. But first, since we are going to copy the head section on this page, we will make some space right below this opening tag and paste the Google Tag Manager head container snippet. Now it's time to paste the body container snippet. So let's just go back to the Google Tag Manager web container and copy the body code. Head over back to the Shopify store and search for the opening body tag. For me, the opening body tag is on line 296. So I'm going to just create some space right where the tag ends and paste the body snippet. That is format code, so everything just looks a little prettier and then hit save. After adding the head and body scripts to our Shopify store, everything should be working fine. But let's just make sure everything is actually working fine. Let's just go back to the Google Tag Manager container and head over to the workspace section. Workspace section is where we have the option to manage all the tags, triggers and everything. So let's just preview on our Google Tag Manager web container so it will connect a temporary debug window with our Shopify store where we can see all the events, tags and triggers that we have configured or that we will configure in the future, we can see that. Enter your website URL and hit connect. Once the debug window is connected with your Shopify store, you can see that your Google Tag Manager container is properly firing on the website using this tag assistant legacy Chrome extension. You can also verify the same information from your Google Tag Manager debug window, you can see that we have loaded one container, which is the same one that you have right now. Perfect. Now we are done with this section one. We are ready to configure the configuration tag, which will track page view events for TikTok pixel. Let's just head over to TikTok ads manager so we can get the pixel and set it up on our Shopify store. Under the tool section, you will find an option for events. Let's select that. Once you're on the tools page, you might find different pixels options. Uh, since Shopify is a web event, so we are going with the web events option for the TikTok pixel. Once you have selected that, it depends. If you have already created a TikTok pixel, then you can just simply select that one. Otherwise, you can create a new event pixel for yourself. Perfect. Once you select your TikTok pixel, on the bottom left corner, you will see an option for add events. And since we are using Google Tag Manager, we want to go for a manual setup instead of a partnership event. So once you have selected the option, it will take you to another screen where it will provide you with the information on how to configure the events and how to configure the tags. Since we are using Google Tag Manager, we don't want any of these events, so we can skip this step for now and hit confirm. Since we are also using Google Tag Manager, we are going to be using a custom code, so we can hit next. And then we are using the web pixel right now, so we are going to click on view instruction. This will redirect you to a page where you can see the base configuration tag of your TikTok pixel. So let's just copy this base pixel tag and go back to our Google Tag Manager container. 
Under the tag section, we are going to create a tag that will fire on all the pages of the website and that will trigger this TikTok configuration tag across the whole website. So let's select trigger and let's select all pages and under the configuration tag, we are going to look for a custom HTML tag. So let's just select that and paste our dog and paste the code. We are also going to be needing this TikTok pixel ID. So let me just copy this one so we can create a variable for this later on in the video. Let's rename it to custom HTML tag TikTok configuration tag. Perfect. Let's make sure there are no spelling mistakes and hit save. Since we are going to use this TikTok ID multiple times, it's really beneficial if we can create a variable that we can refer back and forth to that one. So let's create a user defined constant variable and let's rename it to TikTok pixel ID. Let's hit save. Now let's go back to the tag section on our Google Tag Manager web container and replace the TikTok pixel ID with the constant variable that we just created. To replace a pixel ID, you can simply open two curly braces and start typing the name of your variable. Once you have done that, hit save. And now we have the TikTok pixel configuration tag configured. Let's just make sure that everything is working all right up to this point. So let's hit preview so that we can see the events that are firing through the debug window. Let's go back to our Shopify store and now you can install this TikTok pixel event helper. Now you can click on this TikTok pixel event helper and this will show you all the events, tags and triggers that are firing right now. So it shows you that there is a page view event that has been firing right now. You also see these two warning. These are because we are not using custom event builder and we are using Google Tag Manager. You can ignore these two errors for now. Perfect. You can also verify the same information from your Google Tag Manager debug window where you can see that a configuration event has fired on the container loaded event. That's awesome. Now we need to make sure that we have the scripts for add to cart event on our Shopify store. In this third section of the video, we are going to configure some scripts on our Shopify store that will help us to track this add to cart event. If you will go over to the description of this video, you will find a link to a blog post which will redirect you to this page. On this page, we can see that we have two different scripts. One is for head data layer code and then we have one script for product data layer code. So let's just copy and paste these scripts one by one and go over to our Shopify store so we can create separate snippets. Creating snippets is not really necessary, but I like this because we can keep everything separate and everything remains consistent. So let's just go to the snippet section and create first snippet, which is going to be called head data layer. Let's hit create. And now we need one another snippet, which is for product data layer. So let's call it data layer product and let's hit done perfect now we have both of these configured now let's just copy the code for the head data layer and paste it right here let's hit format code and save now we need to do the same thing for product data layer let's go back to the website scroll down and copy the code go back to our shopify store and paste the product data layer code once we hit save we need to go back to the theme file and identify the body snippet code again Perfect. Now right below Google Tag Manager container, we are going to import that snippet by using include and the name of head data layer file. Let's just hit save to make sure everything is working all right. Let me walk you through what we have actually done so far. So right now we just included this. This line of code is going to import this head data layer file. And what this head data layer file is doing is just basically checking if the user is on the product page, then it will fire, it will attach this event listener event for custom add to cart event. You might also see that we are using custom underscore add to cart. We are not using add to cart event name. This is just because we don't want to interfere with any kind of existing events that you might have on your website. Therefore, we have this custom underscore prefix with it. You can rename it to GTM underscore or whatever you think. Perfect. Now let's just make sure that these functions are working perfectly okay. Let's get, go back to our website and go to any of the product pages that we might have. So let's just select this product and what we're going to do is click on this add to cart button to see if the add to cart event is triggering right now. Once we hit add to cart button, we can go back to the debug window and we can see that we have an add to cart event triggered and it has all the information available for the product such as 
name, currency, item, ID, etc. So in this fourth and final section of the video, we are going to see how we can use this data layer event to send the add to cart event back to the TikTok pixel. So let's just go back to the Google Tag Manager container. And for this one, we can use the custom HTML tag similar to the one we have for page view event. But in this one, we are going to use something called a template. Uh, Google Tag Manager has a community which builds templates so that it makes tracking easy for us. And one of these templates has been built by TikTok team itself. So let's just search for TikTok pixel and you can see that a TikTok pixel tag that has been created by the TikTok team. Once you hit add to the workspace, this tag will be available for us to use in the tag section. So let's just go back to the tag section and click on new. Since we don't want this event to fire on all the pages of the website, we have to create a specific trigger that will only trigger this event on the custom add to cart event. So let's just go to the trigger section and click on plus to create a new trigger. And for this trigger type, we are going to go for a custom event. Let's just go back to the debug window of our Google Tag Manager container to see what was the name of the event. Let's copy it and go back to the Google Tag Manager trigger section so we can just make sure that we don't make any kind of spelling mistakes. So let's hit save. So whatever the tag we are going to create now under tag configuration, this will only fire on custom add to cart event. We can search for the TikTok pixel and we can add this pixel. The pixel requires a pixel ID. We can refer back to the same TikTok pixel ID constant variable that we created. And since the name of the event is add to cart, we will select add to cart. Awesome. At this point, we don't have any kind of user information. Therefore, we are going to leave the email and phone number option blank. And under the object property, we are going to use the option for use Google Analytics for data layer. For the currency, we need to create a separate variable, which will tell TikTok pixel that what is the currency of the element. And we can go back to the data layer to see we have the currency variable available under e-commerce.currency. So let's just create a new data layer variable that will access this currency parameter. The currency parameter is under e-commerce.currency. Let's rename this variable to dlv e-commerce.currency and hit save. Great, now this is everything that we need to do. Now let's just make sure everything is working all right. Let's rename it to custom event add to cart. We have named it TikTok enhanced e-commerce event add to cart. Let's hit save and click on the preview window once more so that these new tags that we have created, they are also added in the debug window session. The process is really the same. We are going to any of the product pages and then we are going to click on the add to cart button to see if this event is triggered properly. Once you hit on add to cart button, there are two ways that you can verify if this information is correct or not. You can go back to the debug window and you can see that this custom add to cart event has been triggered. And once you click on this tag type, you will see that it has properly fired. And you can verify if this has sent information back to the TikTok pixel correctly. You can use the tag helper assistant window and you can see that it has sent content ID, content name, brand, price, value, and the currency parameter. Now the last step is to make sure all these changes are not in the debug window and they are already published on our store. So let's just go back to the Google Tag Manager container and hit submit. So let's rename this version to something that we can remember it. So let's rename it TikTok add to cart and let's hit publish. All this we have done is really great, but without begin checkout event, TikTok Pixel does not know how many users are actually initiating the checkout on the products that they have added to the cart. To learn more about initial checkout event using Google Tag Manager on our Shopify store, click on this video, which will explain everything in the same manner we did here.